Christina Shockey is the Deputy Communications Director for the Hillary Clinton campaign, and she joins us here at Longwood University. Good to see you. Great to be here. All right, before we even get into some of the specifics, uh, give us a sense of how Senator Kane has been preparing for this you know, night. He's taking it really seriously, just as Hillary did for her first debate. This is a chance for him to talk directly to American voters about what he would do as their vice president. And so he has taken it quite seriously, he spent a lot of time on it, and he's really looking forward to the opportunity tonight. You know, and over the vice president, not a lot of Americans know Senator Kane. And so this is, Hillary is really excited for people to get to know him and see why she chose him for this important role. We have a new CBS News poll that finds 67% of registered voters say they're undecided or don't know enough about the vice presidential candidates yes. to really make a decision. We know in the big picture, Christina, it's not the vice presidents that really call the elections or make a difference. But what do you think he needs to do tonight? Well, you know, I think this is just an unprecedented vice presidential debate. We've never had anything quite like this. You know, in the past, when the vice presidents debated, what people were trying to decide is, would they be qualified to be one heartbeat away from the presidency? I don't think that's the issue with either of these candidates. I think the real question is, is Donald Trump qualified to be the president? And there are so many questions <laughs> Americans have about his command of the issues, his lack of plans, his erratic behavior. But a lot of people are questioning whether he has the qualifications and the fitness to be our president. So I think it's a little different what we're going to see tonight. But I think this is a really important opportunity for people to see the difference between these two tickets. It's been a fairly good week for Secretary Clinton. It's been a fairly terrible week, some will say, for yes. Donald Trump. Armando. The New York Times had a scathing report <laughs> uh, published in the newspaper yeah. that uh, detailed his tax returns from 1995. Uh, didn't uh, he lost 916 million dollars, yes. which would have offset perhaps some 50 million dollars in taxes yes. that he might have paid over the course of the years from 1995 till now? How is Senator Kane expected to address that at this debate? Well, you know, this is a really important issue. I think we learned two important things from that explosive reporting. First, that he had a, just an epic business failure in 1995 to lose almost a billion dollars. I mean, he drove three casinos into the ground. He failed in the airline industry. And it's really remarkable for him to lose that kind of money. For somebody who's running for president saying, let me do for America what I did for our companies, I think we're seeing, since we finally have seen some of his tax returns, that that's a real problem. But I think we also learned something important about his values. You know, this is a person who hasn't been contributing, hasn't been paying his fair share for the American military, for our first responders, for our schools, and for our roads. I think this is a really important difference that Senator Kane will talk about tonight. She's up in all the polls, as Vlad yeah. mentioned, really looking great for you guys when it comes to the numbers. She's not doing well in Ohio. Is it over for the Clinton campaign in Ohio? No, you know, Ohio, as you said, we're doing really well in all the battleground states. We feel really confident. But you know, Ohio is very important to us. It's a state where we really feel good about our ground game. We've got 50 offices there. Hillary was just there yesterday talking about how to build an economy that works for everyone, not just those at the top. We're going to fight hard for Ohio. It's a really important. Why do you think she hasn't done well there? You know, I I think some of the polls, we're seeing so different things, but I think what's really important is for her to get out there and make her case about how she is the candidate who's going to raise the minimum wage, who's going to fight for good paying jobs in this country. You know, another report we saw yesterday coming out of Newsweek showed that for his most recent real estate buildings, that Donald Trump chose not to buy American steel made steel and American made aluminum, which of course it happens in Ohio, it's manufactured in Ohio. I think that's an important thing for the voters of Ohio to know about him. He runs American businesses, when he has the chance to hire American workers or buy American products, he chooses not to. Christina, one of the criticisms Donald Trump and his campaign have leveled against Secretary Clinton is that regardless of some of the gaffes that he's made, some of the rhetoric that he's used, he's a businessman and he's signed paychecks, he's given people a livelihood. They've criticized Hillary Clinton for not ever having done that in her life. In other words, having been in government for most of her life. How do you address that? You know, when she was a United States Senator representing New York, she fought for the recovery of New York after 9-11. She fought for jobs in New York and really helped build businesses there and change the economy after that terrible attack. So she's somebody who has really stood up for American businesses. She's done it in all of her roles. But is that a fair criticism? In other words, that she's a not a job creator. No, she has I not been. I don't think that's a fair criticism. You know, also when she was Secretary of State, she fought for American interests all over the world, including American businesses. So it's something she's really proud about in her record. And I think, again, we saw that Donald Trump, even though he says he's an incredible businessman, I think we saw just with three pages of his tax returns,
returns that he actually isn't. And that's one of the reasons we need to see the rest of his tax returns. We don't know. You've talked about the tax returns, but he, what he did was totally legal, totally, completely legal. There was nothing illegal about it. Do you think the Clinton campaign should focus more on redoing the tax system than attacking him? You know, again, we're not disputing that is legal, but I think it tells us so much about him. Again, an epic business failure. He lost almost a billion dollars in one year. And then we've seen that he's gotten rich. He used a rigged system to his own advantage off the backs of working people. I pay my taxes, you pay your taxes. Millions of American families press this country pay our taxes. And we understand that Donald Trump didn't. He took advantage, it's legal, but he took advantage of the system to better himself at the expense of other people. Who are you focusing on right now? Because the number that really stood out to me was something about 5% he was polling with independents in Ohio, and now it's up something like 15%. That's a huge jump with people who are on the fence. Does you know, that trouble you? You know what? Again, we're going to fight really hard in Ohio. You saw she gave a really important speech there yesterday about what she would do, her concrete plans to grow the economy. I think that's a really important message for Ohio and the rest of the country, and she's going to get out there to earn every vote. Uh, Christina, before we let you go, uh, do we expect to see Alicia Machado at any point between now and the election? Election, uh, either campaigning for Secretary Clinton or in any form of, uh, on the stage somewhere. You know, I have to say that Hillary was really proud of what she did. She stood up for herself, and we saw so much about Donald Trump's character last week, how he continued to just degrade and insult her. I think that says a lot, getting up in the middle of the night to just send insulting tweets about this woman. Um, Hillary spoke to her on the phone and thanked her for her support and thanked her for being strong through all of this. All right. Christina Shockey, thank you so much for thank your time. You. We appreciate it as always. Thanks for stopping by.